Yeah, so I'm, I'm aspiring to work in software sales and I was curious, like what's a framework or quest questions one should ask for choosing a startup to be a part of? Because there's so many open positions for startups and software roles, but I don't want to just choose willy nilly. I was wondering any frameworks or questions when deciding to start one's career at a startup? Uh, yeah, so um, there's a couple of factors in this. Part of it is how risk averse are you, right? Versus uh, sort of, so like my roommate in college is this guy named Joe Lemont, and he's now a billionaire, right? He's in the Forbes 400, he's done great. But he's what I would call a psycho entrepreneur, right? He dropped out of Stanford, started his own company, He's the kind of guy who will run across 101 blindfolded and make it across. And I look at that and I'm like, that's not me, right? Like I, I'd like to start a startup, but I want to be more like somebody like Bob Noyce or David Packer. Like I want to be sort of a semi-normal person starting a startup. Um, so to me, a lot of this stuff is uh, knowing yourself. The, the more risk averse you are, the more I would encourage you to prioritize two things. One is, the quality of the company and two is the quality of your boss. And so I would think of it almost like you're hiring your boss. And you'll notice I'm not focusing at all on compensation or quota or any, any of that stuff. It's just like, you know, you're, you're in a phase of your career where if you can work directly for someone great, the learnings are so valuable that they dominate all other decisions. And if you're at a company that's great, a whole bunch of good stuff's going to happen that you're going to get credit for. You're going to meet other awesome people. You're going to be known as someone who has a tendency to get lucky. You're going to be uh, connected to networks of people who go off and do other cool stuff at other cool companies. Kind of like what happened with the PayPal mafia. And so um, I'd say those two questions dominate all other questions in my mind. If you're trying, if you're young and it's early and you're trying to get experience, and you're trying to get sort of things off on the right foot. Um, so I'd say that's that's what I would do. It's funny, when I was coming out of business school, I would go to the VCs and I'd say, look, I know all your companies are awesome, but I bet there's some companies that meet the following criteria. Growing real fast, amazing CEO, head of marketing is a stud or stud at, here's a list of your portfolio companies as I understand them. Can you circle the ones where that's true? And like a lot of times they'd, they'd say, hey, have you ever thought of being a VC? But I was like, no, I don't want to be a VC. I just want to know what companies meet those criteria. And then it was funny, I didn't even have to ask them. They would offer to introduce me to those companies, to the person who would be my boss. And then I would just meet that person and I would, I, you know, I would try to answer their questions in their interview, but in the back of my mind, I was comparing that person as a boss to all the other bosses that I might have. And I was thinking in terms of hiring my boss. Like in, in the early days of your career, learning to do things the right way the first time is invaluable. <laughs>